Hi, everybody. This is Dina Gazzardo with Shore Local News, and today I'm talking with Billy Walton of the Billy Walton Band. How are you doing today, Billy? Hey, thanks for having me, Gina. I'm having a great time enjoying myself here in South Jersey. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> that's that's great. That's great. Well, thanks for coming on to share a little bit about your band and what you've been up to lately. There's a thing called Rona, you know. I don't know if you heard of it. Um, <laughs> so everything's been a little, uh, you know, quiet. But yeah. uh, not not that bad, though, actually. We've been, you know, doing some gigs. And, uh, you know, we did the uh, Laguna uh, every Wednesday during the summer and Brigantine. That was fun. Little little things of, uh, you know, normal activity you know here and there so that's yeah cool. little glimpses of normal are starting to appear again thank god oh, thank um god. so i'd like to talk a little bit about your band's background to begin um what year was the billy walton band formed uh right around 2007 we we started doing um european tours and uh and writing our own music and stuff that that was really uh, the beginning of the uh uh the original scene of, of the Billy Walton band. So it's funny. You see, you actually got your start in Europe and not here. No, no. I, we were playing the Jersey shore. I've been playing there uh, since high school. I was in many bands, Bachigaloo, moments notice. And then I Southside Johnny and the Asbury Jukes. Um, uh, so a couple band uh, bands that played on the shore for years. And uh, then I started, you know, writing my own music and, um, and, and put a band together and, and, and started touring. We, you know, so that, that's basically when, when it started 2007 was the, our first European tour. So you said you put a band together. How did you meet the members of your band? Uh, the music scene in New Jersey is a, um, is like a family. You know what I mean? A lot of people mm -hmm. play in other bands and all for it's, it's a different, different kind of, um, atmosphere you know what I mean that's I you know I, I've known most of the guys for a long time and I know they can play and you know and um just met them out um you know gigging and you know they sat in a couple times and we kind of just put the band together like that so as it stands today do you still have original members I uh, know like, they, they have changed I'm different horn players through the years mm -hmm. a couple different drummers um uh, the bass player has been with me the longest, William Paris. Um, but uh, yeah, and a couple different keyboard players. Uh, but the, the last uh, four years have been um, pretty, pretty uh, staples, you know, every, mm -hmm. every, uh, you know, every gig. So how would you describe the genre of your music? I listen to you a lot today and I'm like, is it? Is it country? No. Is it rock? No. Is it like how? What? What is your genre? Well, that that's that's always up to the listener. To me, you know what I mean. Uh, every album has been a little bit different. Our last record is very, uh, very rocking. Um, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, true. Uh, the couple of the albums before had hints of soul. Um, mm -hmm. You know, hints of blues. Yes. Uh, so, I, I mean, we kind of straddle uh, blues rock, re uh, rock and roll, Jersey, Jersey rock, I should say. Yes. And um, jam band. I mean, we straddle like three different, you know, uh, genres. So we've done uh, festivals for all three, actually. So speaking of, of albums, you just released an album in September called Dark Hour. Yes. Um, so how did you get your inspiration for that album? I mean, it, a lot of my friends were going through tough times with relationships and stuff. Um, and I, I kind of was had fun writing this because I, I put myself in in um, in their shoes, you know, kind of write from their perspective. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it was actually a lot of fun for me, you know what I mean, too. And that's w the whole the whole album kind of has a theme. Uh, if you listen to it from start to finish, it's, you know, the beginning and then the demise of, you know, uh, the relationship. So it, 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 it was kind of fun to write like that, you know, from another, uh, from another person's perspective. Yeah. Cause yeah. the songs before that and, and, uh, records, uh, the records before were more kind of uplifting, happy mm -hmm. songs and, you know, uh, this is a bit hopeful. darker. Yeah. This is a little bit darker. 
Yeah. Yeah. So I'm I'm actually loving the song Can't Love No One. I've been listening oh. to it all day. Love it. So did you write the lyrics for that song? Yes, I did. I you know, I, I wrote that from the perspective of the person person leaving. Mm-hmm. Not, it's there's always like songs about you know somebody left me and you know it's o- always about that and you feeling down well I figured I'd write from the perspective of the person saying you know hey I'm I'm gone <laughs> right you know so it was fun that was that was fun. now does this song carry a personal meaning to you or does it relate to somebody else that you know yeah I mean most of the songs do from the perspective of like I said the person leaving <laughs> How do I explain it? I, I kind of wrote it so people can um, adapt it to their own lives instead of, you know, just telling a story of one person. You know, that's right. what I was going for. Yeah. So in, an, in another song, um, you've described the song, You Don't Need Me, as an angry fall into depression and a final demise. Yeah. Well, that, so... that sums it up. <laughs> that sums it up, right? So who is this song written about? Uh, I See, that that's a good question. Yeah. Uh, a couple, <laughs> a couple <laughs> people that went through a little tough time, you know, they know who they are. <laughs> okay. Okay. So <laughs> shall remain anonymous. <laughs> yes. How can your fans download your new album, Dark Hour, as well, well as your other music? Well, it's on Harmonize Records. Um, uh, you can get it through, through Harmonize Records. You can get it through BillyWaltonBand.com. You can get it through Apple Music, uh, you know, there's all, all the major, you know, Spotify, all, all, they all, they all carry it pretty much anywhere. If you just type in Billy Walton band, dark hour, hopefully it pops up. <laughs> okay. <I'm just> <laughs> okay. So not only is the Billy Walton band hugely popular in our neck of the woods, obviously you've caught on fire in Europe as well. So yes, how were yes. you first exposed all the way across the pond to the European people? Well, um, I used to play the Stone Pony a lot when I was mm-hmm. younger in Asbury Park. Um, and uh, w- one night we were playing there and uh, there was an agent um, from uh, England in there. And it happened to be a night that I won't say names, but somebody pretty popular in the Asbury Park area. Hmm. Came out Could that be Bruce Springsteen? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it might have been. <laughs> <laughs> and so we got talking to the guy and um, he put a tour together. And from there, it just it just took off. You know, we, wow. we've, we've done very well because uh, I mean, we, we go everywhere we go. Uh, we're rock and roll, but we wave the New Jersey flag. You know what I mean? It's, gotcha. it's where we're from. I'm a Jersey Shore guy, you know, mm-hmm. and I was in, you know, the Asbury Jukes. So a lot of the fans from the Jukes come out and uh, it, it's a, it's a nice mix, you know. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of blues bands over there and a, you know, a lot of rock bands, but um, we're a little different with the horns and the keyboard and the, uh, and the Jersey attitude, you know, I mean, yeah. Jersey music kind of plays sure. ahead of the beat. It's, um, you know, it, it's a little different, you know, so, it, so that's why we, we kind of took off over there and we started doing tours of Germany, you know, Netherlands, um, you know, Belgium, France, Luxembourg, which I didn't know was a country until we played there. Wow. Um, on, on the same subject, what is it like performing in front of a European audience as opposed to like an American audience? I, I love them both. You know what I mean? I, I, mm-hmm. cause I'm from here. I love, I love the States, but, um, but over there, they're really open to something new. You know what I mean? The, the radio is not the same old radio you hear, you know, um, like same songs, you know what I mean? And, and they'll play wild. So they'll play uh, Tom Waits song on the radio. I'm like, what, what is this? This is great. You know what I mean? So I, I, that, that's, so they're, um, they're very open um, to trying something new um, musically. You know, what do you have? I, and, and, and I like that, you know what I mean? But it's, it's just different. You know what I mean? Their, their culture is different. Um, Going out every Friday and Saturday night to see a live band is part of their, um, you know, part of what they do. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's, it, which is, is very good. They're, they're very supportive of the arts. And that's mm-hmm. why many like jazz players tour over there and, and bands from the 80s and stuff like that. They Because they still get the crowds because they're, you know, music is, is, is um, a major part 
of what they what they're into over there. So uh, that's why I love it over there. They have some pretty epic music festivals over there as well. Things oh, that yeah. you really don't see here. I mean, it's it is it's pretty incredible. Um, so, do you have any European tours planned for after COVID is under control? Well, yes, uh, we already had to um, postpone two, and we have one set for. Um, Oh, I don't know if it's going to happen February into March, but I, I really don't see it happening. So the next one will be pushed till May. Um, I, I, I hope it does. You know what I mean? But uh, we, we can't go and, and risk, you know what I mean? No, no. Right and, now. Yeah. And it's spiking over there a little bit. So yeah, that's what I'm well, watching it every day, you know? So, yeah. Um, so where can your fans uh, catch you locally live until then? Well, if you go to uh, billywaltonband.com, um, you know, it'll have the, the, the list of places we're playing, uh, our tour dates. Uh, I mean, we've been doing some live streaming. Um, we did one from the Strand Theater. We're going to we have a couple in place, you know, for people that um, if they're still weary about going out and being in a crowd, you know, and and most of the places we've been playing have been outside and with social distancing. Mm -hmm. But the weather is not going to be uh, right. our friend here soon. So um, so I, I guess we'll go underground and do a lot more live streaming. So to keep up with Billy Walton Band and to download all their incredible music and purchase their super cool swag, be sure to visit their website at www.billywaltonband.com and be sure to like them on Facebook as well. This is Dina Gazzardo reporting for Shore Local News. Tune in each week as I interview some of the hottest bands in our local area. Also, be sure to pick up your copy of Shore Local Magazine to find out where your favorite local bands are performing.